Hi, so I would like to do a little tour with you of a typical perfumery lab uh, where uh, a professional perfumer works. It's not every day that we invite the public to tour our labs. And uh, so I'll show you a few little interesting features. So the first thing, obviously, is that we have a lot of ingredients. Okay? So this starts from A here, and all these lines, all these lines, down to Z here. And uh, just like I will explain, just like a piano has about 88 keys, actually has 88 keys, we have about 1,500 keys. So these are all the ingredients we can create from. You have some that are very liquid. You have some ingredients that are, ex that are uh, powders, like this. And so all kinds of forms and shapes. And uh, we also have some that are very, very thick. And actually, one instrument I like to have in the lab is our pliers, because some bottles are so sticky the resins are so sticky, so the powder sticks so much that sometimes you do need pliers to open the bottle. So we always have this handy. Another other things that you find in a perfumery lab are solutions. So those some of these ingredients are extremely strong. I always say it's like the trumpet close to your ears. Uh, some are so strong we have to dilute them. So we have solutions diluted at 10%. And then we have a lot of them, you can see. We have solutions diluted at 1%. We have solutions diluted at 0.1% and 0.01%. Another feature of the perfume lab is the fridge, extremely important. So here, this fridge is very, very full. We just ordered a new, bigger fridge, actually. So it's kind of a little messy, but at least it's functional. It keeps the fragile ingredients in the cold. And you can see we have a lot of citrus oils, certain flowers, certain naturals, certain molecules like aldehydes, nonadienal, uh, uh, etc. we keep in the fridge. And of course, of, in the fridge, we also have to keep the corresponding solution of these ingredients in the fridge as well. Here I have archives, or let's say library of ingredients that I use less, or strange ingredients, or ingredients we cannot use anymore, or coming from very special suppliers or very special part of the world. They are kept in a fridge separately. Uh, of course, in a lab we have scales, and we have calculators. People don't realize how much a metal calculation a perfumer has to do to create a, a fragrance, to put it in solution, to put it in a shampoo, to redose, to add certain proportions of another ingredient, etc., etc. It's a lot of mental calculations and a lot of proportions for which at times the brain is not enough. We need also calculators. Actually, I always demand to have one calculator per scale and one calculator per desk in all my labs. Another very interesting feature is this fridge, is the stench fridge. So you just have to smell here to realize why it's called stench. I will not open it. It stinks like hell, and if I open it, the whole lab, actually the whole office will smell. So I love, 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 love those ingredients. Some ingredients are wrapped in a jar, in a jar, in a jar. They still smell too strong, but they're extremely important for us. So the stench fridge, some companies have even a stench room. They have so many of those ingredients in such large quantity. And each time you go in those, room, in those rooms, you come out, you stink like hell. Your shirt, you can just put it in what, the washing machine. What example of a stench? Like what? So we have ingredients. We have ingredients that smell the nutty ingredients. <clears throat> they smell extremely strong. Some they smell borderline sewage. In fact, for me, one of the typical hazelnut ingredients smells very much like sewage. <clears throat> Or we have ingredients for grapefruit and the like that smell very much of sweat. We have uh, ingredients that smell of garlic. We have ingredients that smell very gassy. Some they smell like uh, rotten flesh. And uh, what, so is, what are they uh, used for? Like, why would you keep stench with? Because we use them. Scent? We we use them to create to boost, for instance, the smell of grapefruit oil. Grapefruit oil smells. Uh, 
a lot of orange and uh, if you actually want to recreate a nice grapefruit you need some of those ingredients to give the peps of the grapefruit the grapefruity note of the grapefruit has to be reintroduced because it's lost a lot during distillation and it's mm -hmm. not very stable but same some notes are very important as i said to do nutty feelings some green notes some belong to the asparagus family some belong to the green pepper family they are extremely strong but they can give you a little stemmy feeling to a foliage or they can give a wet floor effect some of them and those notes are very important they are found naturally in all these ingredients even in chocolate you have some of those pungent notes naturally in chocolate and if you remove them the things don't smell as yummy or as real so these notes are extremely extremely important Another interesting feature in the perfumery lab is an oven. So me, I have a small oven that's enough for the stability testing uh, I do. For instance, if you want to see if vanilla turns brown in a shampoo, you put the shampoo in here for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, certain temperature, everybody has his own little uh, cooking scenarios. <laughs> and uh, you can see if your fragrance is going to turn the shampoo, as I say, brown, beige or the shampoo remains white for instance and the same for a fine fragrance if you want to see if the juice remains uh, of the color that you want uh, some ingredients actually decolorize with time and some ingredients decolorize a little bit and some ingredients decolorize very very much so we use the oven very very regularly and uh, another important thing at least by us at Dream Air is a speaker I like to have music uh, many times when I create, sometimes I want a bit of silence and sometimes I like to have a kind of a, an, an atmosphere in the lab. So uh, it's like photographers. You can see some photographers doing a photo shoot, they have to have perfect silence. And some photographers, they have to have very loud music. So we usually have in the lab uh, speakers. It's also very important when you do repetitive tasks. There are a few tasks that are quite repetitive in perfumery. And having some music, it's, uh, it makes it more enjoyable and more exciting. So these are some of the features you can find in a, um, a perfumery lab. Beside all the glassware, all the bottles, the pump, the pipettes, etc. Uh, but at least you have had a little tour of something that is actually quite rare to see. And then last but not least, of course the perfumery lab has just a few formulas. So I will show you. I will show you. <coughs> we have our formulas, of course, backed up in our computers. They also, the important ones are also backed up at the factory. But I never, never, never trash a formula. And Yuki agrees. She's like, what is he talking about today? <laughs> yes, Yuki, I'm talking one more bullshit, which is that. So here, these are formulas to be classified, but we have drawers of formulas. So these are formulas from Dream Air. So I've been 10 years at Dream Air. So you see. Formulas, they do exist. Uh, some of them are secret, some of them are less secret, and uh, we keep them. Uh, are these all by hand, system. or some are computer generated, and some are by hand, or? Uh, no, so some, yes, yeah, so some are. Re re I don't like the term computer generated because the computer has never created a formula so far. I'm sure they will, just like a computer can now take a, a photo and, and correct a photo. So that will happen too, and I don't mind. I think it'll be interesting. But for now, the, the formulas are written by us. So yes, but sometimes they are written uh, in the computer. You see, these are, these are like some formulas. And then sometimes the formulas are written by hand or corrected and more inspiration. This is Hugo working on an amber, for instance, here. And uh, voilà, so some are written just like uh, by sketch. So people, some are, are totally written by the computer uh, with the help of the computer. And some is just us. We like to write by hand, correct this way, that way, present that way, and show the ingredients and write ideas, etc. So it's exactly our, our sketchbook, but also our production book. Voilà. So this is also uh, very important, of course, in a fragrance lab.